There's a thing here. What is this? <gasps> I got a cape. I got a cape! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, robot. Or robot. Tentacle. What are you gonna do now? I got a cape! Hey folks, welcome to After Work Gaming, and tonight we're going to jump straight into Starbound. Now, this game has been on Steam for a couple of years. It's been in early access, and now it's hit 1.0, and I'm super excited to get in here because over the years that it's been on Steam, the devs have put in a ton of work, and they've added a ton of content, and they've done a ton of stuff to make this game basically a 2D pixelated, if you can think it, you could probably do it type of game. There's crafting, there's mining, there's exploring, there's colony building, there's crew maintenance, there's dungeon crawling, there's missions. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. There's boss battles, there's weapons, there's decor, etc., etc. It's basically Terraria expanded out to the nth degree, procedurally generated planets, galaxies, a bunch of different biomes, a bunch of different esoteric, procedurally generated creatures for you to find, fight, collect. Uh, and if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about the stuff that this game does. In the description, I'm going to toss a bunch of information if you're curious. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to stop yakking and we're going to just start the game proper by creating a character. Now, let me just kind of walk you through what you're seeing here. And then I'm going to take a moment to roll up a character. Now, there are seven races. Each one has a gender and you can customize based on whatever the, the creature is. The races are humans, naturally, avians that are flightless birds, uh, apex that are hyper-intelligent uh, apes, florin that are sort of tribal barbaric plant people, the hilotl, uh, I'm assuming that the pronunciation is somewhat uh, intentional, given that, you know, Cthulhu has one of those very strange, the Lovecraftian strange pronunciations, uh, but these are vaguely Asian fish people. Uh, Glitch are medieval robot knights, and the Nova Kids are gas or plasma creatures with a Wild West theme to them. And each of these races you can be male or female, and then customize to your heart's content. Now rather than subject you to the whole process of me fiddling with all of these settings, I'm just going to roll up a character and take a short break, and then when I come back, we'll just pick up straight with the game. Alright, and we're back. So. I've never played this race before, even though I've played the game uh, quite a bit when it first hit Steam. Uh, I want to play Florin, so are the, the tribal plant people. They're also carnivorous for whatever reason. Uh, these two flower uh, icons represent that I'm male. I've customized him to look like this, and all that's left is to give him a name, and I know just the name, Dinky. Eh, it's the name that popped in as I was making this guy. His flowers are a little smaller than some of the other ones that you can choose. So why not? Now, I'm going to go with Survival. Uh, as you can see, there are three different settings. I don't want to do Hardcore because I don't want Permadeath. That's not the type of game that I'm interested in. And Casual just seems too, well, easy, I guess. There's no penalty, really, for Death in Casual, so it, it makes you think about how to get back to your starting point less. Now, I'll give you the example, and I'll actually start. You know, if you're laden down with goods, you're not going to lose your inventory if you die in Casual. So you can, for example... If you're far away from your base, or if you're far away from the surface, you've dug into the planet, uh, you can just die. And you respawn at the top, or you respawn on, on wherever it is you respawn. And that's not what I want. That, that sort of promotes an easy way out of getting back to the base. I want to be able to think about, how is it that I'm going to make it back up after I fall into this hole, or after I dig down, or whatever it is, right? It, it, re it requires a, a slightly more involved calculus. So... Uh, that's what I want to do. Also, in 1.0, they've uh, added food and hunger so that you can actually starve to death in this game. Uh, and I want that as well. I want sort of a resource management issue because otherwise there's a, there's a farming subsystem in this game. And I don't want to just have that be, I guess, what's the best term? Just to be sort of anecdotal. I want it to actually serve a function. Uh, and I don't want to skip intro missions because I want to see the prologue. And so with that and with Dinky... Let's get started. Wake up. Wake up. You have overslept. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, this is 
Intense. Okay. Alright. To interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E if you're awake enough to do so. Sure. Uh, now, the first thing we want to do, obviously, when we wake up, is uh, <clears throat> hit the bathroom. Everybody look away. I'll ask you not to stare. Just follow the cursor. Look at that guitar. Ooh, all right, I'm done. Here we go. Uh, wash my hands. No, nope, I'm opening the door. That's that's fine. But, you know, we're, uh, we're a tribal people. We're a barbaric people. We're plants. We don't do anything. It's just chloroform, uh, chlorophyll on my hands. Uh, and obviously, you can interact with a bunch of different stuff here. Yes, I can open doors with E, thank you. Uh, what's this? Oh. Oh. And as you can see, if there's interactables, they're sort of outlined here. Uh, guitar's not outlined, so I guess, nope. Not going back to sleep, sorry. Here we go. Your uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It's quite impressive that you can remain so serene when you're running so late. Well done, you. I'm running late? For what? Oh! Okay, here we go. My locker. Storage. Uh, pixels are sort of the currency in the game, if I remember correctly. Here we go. Graduation flyer. This flyer commemorates the Protectorate's graduation ceremony. I guess maybe that's what I'm running towards? Uh, and here we go. Protectorate shirt and Protectorate trousers. And I'm going to just pop them into my armor slots. And as you can see, there's the actual armor and then there's the cosmetic armor. So I can skin whatever it is that I'm wearing. Hey, guy. Soon you'll be a real protector. With your very own matter manipulator, must be exciting. I hear that those matter manipulators can disassemble all kinds of materials. If you get assigned to some distant world, don't forget you'll always have friends here on Earth. All right, thanks, human, human friend. Off a bit of a late start, aren't you, Dinky? Yes, yes I am. Thanks for noticing. I love this seat, so comfortable and with a great view. Most people are courteous enough to vacate a seat if you ask nicely, but this chair is too comfortable to give up. Is it? No, it is. Okay. Well, one point for you, Apex guy. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the Terrine Protectorate. Talk to me for handy tips. Press I to open your inventory. Okay, that works. Press Q will let you drop item you're holding. Nope. Press N to toggle scan mode and inspect objects. <laughs> this machine gets fresh water daily. Oh yeah, I hiss apparently? Okay. Books with words and words and words. Flags. Floor and banner is best color. Green like sapling. Yep, and I'm green. That's why I'm the best. Thank you. Here we go. Hold control to move your camera around. Tap again to reset it. Ooh. Can I go up there? There's a butterfly up there. Can I go up there? Can can I? Okay, no. Uh, always listen to Sale, your personal AI assistant. I suppose that guy who was being obnoxious to me about being late. Press Enter to read Sale messages again and chat to party members. I have no party members, just me. Uh, if you get stuck, open your journal quest. All right, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to figure it out as we go along. What's up, guy? This vending machine swallowed my pixels. Could this gay get any worse? I don't know. Uh, you can get sick, I guess, or it could rain. It's raining a lot. Uh, a nice cold can of Oculuminate, just beyond my reach. But I mean, they're not gonna mind, just go ahead. You just like, shake it a little. And the vending machine swallowed my pixels. Okay. We get it, pixels, all right, fine. <laughs> hey, robot janitor. Do, do, do. Wow, look at that tree. That's cool. Frustrated. They have me sweeping the bridge every hour like I'm a machine or something. Impatient. Just one day away from retirement. Boy, I hope nothing cataclysmic happens to you, guy. Wink. I mean, that's a trope, right? Resigned. I suppose this tree's beauty provides some justification for its upkeep. I'm kind of reading it like the Elcor lines from Mass Effect because, I mean... He has no emotion. Because he's a robot. Does that make you sad? No, it doesn't. You're a robot. Hey, fish friend. Sit with me for a moment and let us enjoy these beautiful blossoms. Okay. Nope. Huh? Some situations call for haste, but don't let life's small moments pass unobserved. Nope. Come on, man. Sit down. Oh, can't sit and talk? 
This tree has stood for centuries, a symbol of the Protectorate's strength and dignity. Really? This big tree is old and wise. Florin wishes to grow as old and wise as tree. Sure. Noisy chimes. Cool. Flower? I have a flower. I have a flower. I'm feeling pretty with a flower. Okay. Sorry, I'm graduating. You're really cutting it close, Dinky. Please hurry inside before the ceremony starts. Okay. Wait, well, you're not coming in. Sorry, dude. Robot. Eager. My very own matter manipulator. I figuratively cannot wait. Uh, is it because you literally can? Okay. Not many Florins become protectorates. Florin is proud to be chosen. You go, plant friend. Hey, Dinky. I was wondering if you were going to show up or not. I did show up, human friend. Here we go. I guess those are like all the, the high counselors or whatever. My fellow protectorates, today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years, we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. I don't know why she sounds so militaristic all of a sudden. Our task, to protect our fellow beings, to support, house, and educate those that seek our aid, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots, and present them each with our greatest tool. The Matter Manipulator. Huh? What, what was that? What? What the? Whoa. Whoa. You, graduate, take the manipulator and run. Get to safety. Suddenly, a wild hentai film appears. Ooh. Can't help but think that that music is a little out of place with the whole tentacles destroying the planet. Mm, okay, we're running. For riggin' running. It appears the ceiling has collapsed. The matter manipulator can be used to clear this dirt. Press the R key to equip it, then click and hold on a pile of dirt to dig through. Uh, okay. No pickaxes for us, thank you. We have futuristic pickaxe. Oh, I guess this broke through. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ah, catch my breath. Okay, moving on. Da, 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 da. Okay. Scans show the room beyond the door has flooded. It would be best not to go in. I advise you to find a way over it. Use spacebar to jump up to the higher platforms. Ooh, okay, here we go. Jump up. And we're on the roof. Can we go this way? No, we can't. There's like a dead glitch robot thing. Oop. The scale of this disaster is immeasurable. The destruction occurring is beyond my capacity to quantify. You must leave this planet immediately. Thanks, uh, Sail. Why do you have that, like, eyebrow raised look on your face, though? That's kind of weird. Uh, whoa, check out the background. <laughs> yeah, whatever this is, is not happening locally. Uh, this is not good, eh? To jump down a platform like this, you should hold S and then tap a space bar. I gotcha. Okay, there's nothing. Um, uh, okay, that's, nope, we're not touching that, sorry. There's a thing here. What's it? I got a cape. I got a cape! Oh yeah, oh yeah, robot, or robot, tentacle. What are you gonna do now? I gotta keep. Okay. Uh, we gotta clear this out, I imagine. Dry dirt and sod. Ooh, not enough. Come on. There we go, better. I like that, though. Can I eat anything else? No. Cargo hold. The chest sitting on that conveyor belt should contain some kind of weapon. Please arm yourself. Uh, well, first money, obviously, because in the middle of a, of a global catastrophe, <laughs> money, obviously. So here we go. Broken broadsword, damage per swing, six, rate of fire, 1.3. Is that really the term we want to use for a sword, but okay. Special, spin slash. Uh, it's worth 500 pixels, and it's a two-handed weapon. All right, so let's put it up there. Uh, number three on our list. Ooh, ooh. Sorry if you can hear the click. I mean, my mouse isn't quiet, but okay. Um, these like storage pods or something? Ooh. 
Access a weapon with ease by placing it in one of the action bar slots at the top of the screen, then pressing the corresponding number key to equip or unequip it. Done! Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you like that. And by you like that, I mean not. I have bypassed the pre-flight checks. Get aboard. Oh, for the ship, right. Ooh, what is this? Salve. Restores 50 health over 10 seconds. Okay, fine. And... Bandages, yes. These are both important. What's in this? Okay, so we're blasting the f blasting the hell off this planet. Mm -hmm. There we go. And there's other people there. There's not so much. Okay. So are we the only ones? Starbound. Please reboot the system. Uh, okay, so. That was the prologue. That was also character creation. I think we're going to end it here for this episode, and when we come back next time, we're just going to start in right from here. Uh, we're going to reboot the AI, I guess, and we'll see what it tells us. Uh, I, I don't know if that is Earth, although I don't see um, tentacles, so maybe not, but we'll find out next time. If you guys liked it, if you guys didn't like it, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm always open to suggestions, especially this early on in the channel's history. So, uh, let me know. And in either case, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>